Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give you an update on the Morant Bay Urban Center. Now I want to ask you guys a question. They indicated that this center is to be opened or finished in September of this year, September 2024. We are now in April. So you have March, sorry, you have May, June, July, August, and one week left in April. So we're looking at 17 weeks till September. So guys, do you think this facility will be ready in 17 weeks? Leave your comments in the section below. No. It's a mega development. This is what you call a game changer. This one facility has literally changed the entire outlook of St. Thomas, of especially Morant Bay. This is a modern facility. It's going to have a bank a university, it's going to have a KFC, a Hilo, a Burger King, a Juicy Patties. Okay, what you're looking at there now is the commercial section. That's where you can go and rent a store. Mark you, they're all leased out. There's no more space available. But if you want to rent a store to set up a business, this is the commercial section you're looking at. At the bottom of the screen, that is where they're going to have the Juicy Patties location. And in the commercial center, to the right, is where you're going to have Burger King. Now, KFC is going to have its own structure because of the drive through So with Juicy, I'm not sure Burger King is going to have a drive through But this is a commercial section. Now, this facility has done so well. It's not even opened yet, but it's fully booked out that they plan to build more of these in other parishes. And what you're looking at, this land, this is where the Goodyear factory used to be in St. Thomas, in Morabay. That factory closed for decades and nobody could figure out what to do with the property. Okay, I'll just break as we tour. Now, that white building is where you're going to have a BPO, a business processing outsource company. They will be in that building. To the left of that, I think that is the... The university, where a university will be in that building, beside the white one. And then to the left is where you're going to have the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation and the town hall. Okay, so let's go again. The BPO is a white building. The one next to it is going to be the university. And the one to the left of the screen is the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation. And behind it will be the, the town hall. Now that structure all the way to the left, the white building, is the NCB branch. Now, this used to be, this property was vac well, vacant, but abandoned for years. And every government would talk about doing something with it, from a tech park to XYZ, but nothing was done. It's this current government that did what you see here. Now, not only did they do this, they built a road, a road that's bigger than, I guess you could say, bigger than life. It was a game changer that they put single-handedly, this government. Let's not, I know a lot of people don't like when we say it, and we're not a political channel. But this current administration built the road, and that's the road there, the Southern Coastal Highway from Kingston, Tomorrow, the enemy goes all the way to Portland. They're actually building another urban center in Portland. So they built the road and then they built the urban center to because they had a vision of what was to come. And it worked because this place is fully booked out. Now, if they were to expand this urban center to twice the size, it would be booked out. Three times the size, it would be booked out. That is on heard of for St. Thomas. Do you know what the nickname for St. Thomas was? The Forgotten Parish. 
and look at this this is what you call progress it's not even progress this is a mega development a game changer this facility is even going to have a courthouse to the right um, was talking when we when I when we showed you where the road was that's going to be a tax office and you're going to have the RGD department over there and then you're going to have um, court facilities in another building a courthouse a modern courthouse for St. Thomas can you imagine a modern a modern municipal corporation building this is what you call a game changer. Now, back to the original question. Now that we have toured the entire facility, do you think this will be ready by September of this year? Now, the reason why we have to ask is because they've gotten the date wrong so many times. With the building on the Southern Coastal Highway, they, in February, they put out a press release saying the road will be finished by June. When, or May, March, if whatever date they put out, it, it, it just looking at the road, you could know it would never finish in time. So I'm asking you guys, looking at this facility, do you think it will finish in 17 weeks? Now, the contractor is China Harbor Engineering Company. I mean, they are the best of the best. If they... The only chance you have of getting it done in 17 weeks is because they are doing it. Now, I'm asking, I don't know. I really don't know if this can be finished in 17 weeks. So, you guys let me know what you think. But it will be finished. And I'll never understand why they come with these timelines. Now, I just want to point something out. Rio is opening a hotel in Trelawney on May 4th. Last year, Rio said May 2024 opening of the hotel. Mark, they had over 700 workers on the hotel. But last year, about middle of last year, they said May 2024. And guess what? They are going to make the deadline. So it's just the contrast. Rio put out a date, they made the deadline. As a matter of fact, they started to take reservations from last year for me but some other whenever the government puts out a timeline it's rarely if ever met so guys let us know what you think about september 2024 opening leave your comments in the section below have a good day